Hey guys, it's the Zeus. Um, I thought I would make a response video. Uh, Charming Pixie Flora made a video about coming out of the broom closet. It's called Coming Out of the Broom Closet, Why You Should. So I thought I'd make a response to her video. By the way, love your videos, they're awesome. Um, coming out of the broom closet is probably the best thing I've done for my spirituality, besides becoming pagan. Um, I'm extremely open about who I am and what I practice. I I don't go around like preaching it, but I wear my pentacle every day. I don't usually take it off. I don't usually hide it. Um, it's usually outside my shirt. Um, but yeah, I have a, it's a pretty big one. Um, it's about an inch tall. It's handmade. It's um, lead-free pewter. Which is actually soft metal, so it scratches sometimes, but yeah, I love my pentacle. I think it's awesome, but yeah, I wear it all the time, and with this chain, it sits like a little bit above my heart chakra because my other chain broke uh the other one it was like right over my heart chakra, but um, not a lot of people have i actually. I, haven't, I don't think I've had anyone react in necessarily a bad way where they, like, verbally attacked me about being Wiccan. Um, I had some people react negatively, but that's because they didn't know about what Wicca was, what paganism was. They assumed that I was worshipping the devil when I don't believe in the devil, I don't believe in hell. Um... Um, my, so that's what it is usually, is when people react negatively, it's usually because they're afraid of what they don't understand, like what Pixie Flora said, Charming Pixie Flora. Um, so yeah. I do have a lot of people react very positively. I've known a couple people who just, like, usually people won't ask about my necklace, um, because they don't know what it means, but I've had a lot of people just be like, hey, nice necklace. It's kind of like a hint, like, hey, hi, I know who you are. It's kind of cool. You know, I get a lot of positive feedback that way. Um, I've had a couple people ask me if I'm actually pagan or Wiccan or if I'm just into, into it. Um, I am very, very pagan. Um, I am in no way just into it. I practice what I believe. I believe it wholeheartedly. Um, so yes. Um, c about coming out of the broom closet, I know that we had a dis we've been having a discussion on the forum that I go to about it. Hi guys, scissors. Um, we've been having a discussion about parents and coming out of the burning closet. That can be terrifying, talking to your parents about it. Um, I know I was, like, about ready to cry when I told my parents. I was so scared, because they are very, very Catholic. Um, my whole family is. But I had been t talking to my sisters about it, my little sisters, um... And they supported me. I had been talking to my brothers, and they supported me. Um, and what I did was I, before I told them, I started talking to them about religion. Like, is God really a guy? Like, why does God always have to be male? Um, I would talk, I would, like, ask them questions. Like, what do you think about pagans? You know, do you think they're evil? And I would tell them what I had learned about paganism. Like, oh, I, I had just seen this stuff on the web. And I, so I would tell them. I wouldn't tell them that I w it's what I had been studying. I, At the time, I had been studying it. Um, when, I dis when I discovered paganism, I was studying it for a story that I was writing about witches. Which never got finished, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, I will, I've been trying to finish it. I'm going to work on it a little bit, but, yeah. But, 
you know, just talk to parents is just talking to them about what it is before you tell them can actually help a lot. Excuse me. But, yeah, and my parents were actually very accepting of it when they knew what it was. Um, so it's all good. And I'm able to have um, all my witchy supplies. I go to um, my local occult shops or witchy shops. Um, my mom got me a candle making kit so I can make all my own candles and stuff and for most of my own candles. And I'm able to have my altar out all the time. I'm allowed to do my rituals. I'm allowed to do my spells. I'm allowed to celebrate my Sabbaths. And I understand that a lot of parents won't be so understanding. The main thing is education. If you can tell them what you believe and why you believe it. This is a point that Charming Pixie Flora made. You need to know what you believe and why you believe it. Because if you can't tell them, if you can only tell them what you don't believe, I don't believe in Satan, I don't believe in hell, I don't believe in just one God, if you can only tell them what you don't believe, then they don't know what you do believe. And that can be very confusing to someone. Um, you need to be able to tell them, I believe in a God the Goddess, um, I believe in the power of the elements, I believe that you can use power to inspire change in your life, um, that's all about energy, I believe in the rule of three, I believe, in, which is karma, pretty much, I believe in karma, I believe in reincarnation, you need to be able to tell them why you believe these things, you can't just say, oh, because it was in the book about Wicca, you have to be able to tell them why, in your own heart, you believe something, because you can't just believe it because it's out of a book, you have to feel it and be able to explain why you feel it. I believe in reincarnation because I have past life memories. You know, um, I believe in the God and the Goddess because they've spoken to me. They spoke to me as a young child. I believed in the God and the Goddess. Um, I believe in the power of the elements in nature because as a young child, I was drawn to that energy. You know, I connected with the earth as a child. I would talk to plants and bees and all this stuff. I believe in fairies because I can see I I can see them. I mean, most people will laugh at you if you say you can see fairies, but I mean, a lot of people can, and I do. Um, you know, it's like a lot of this is an argument that I use with my mother. It's like feng shui. You know, spells are like feng shui, using the energy around you to evoke change. Because my mother's into feng shui, and, yeah. But, so that stuff, you have to be able to tell them why you believe, and exactly what you believe, instead of just relying on telling someone what you don't believe. Um, as for being open in public, like wearing your pentacle out in public, or your triquetra rings, or, like, having posters in your office, um, Charm Pixel Flora said, like, I'm just going to quote quote her or whatever. Like, see what other people are doing. I mean, if someone else is able to wear a cross, if someone else is able to have pictures of Jesus or posters or, like, a Buddha, you're allowed to have your religious paraphernalia. And so I'm at nine minutes. And I'm going to go... And I hope that this helped or was interesting or something. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and blessed be.